Good morning, boys and girls. We have a lot to share this morning, so let's get started with how much did you love the fun run on Friday? Look at those smiling faces. I'm going to show you a short video clip. Of <laughs> Our fun run has officially started. Let's get ready to have some fun today. Show me your best running moves. All right. Well, maybe we will have another one in the spring. We will see what we can do. Okay. All right. This month, our word is teamwork everybody say teamwork teamwork and we're going to watch a very short clip again <laughs> told you we have lots of things to watch this morning here it goes hi my name is raya and thanks for joining me on the journey of living lead Rippy. this month we're learning about one of my favorite things teamwork teamwork happens when a group of people trust each other enough and work together to reach a goal most people think about sports teams when they talk about teamwork, but did you know that your class, your friends, and even your family can be a team? To succeed as a team, you need relationships, trust, and a shared goal. Being part of a team is a fun way to make new friends, learn new skills, and do more than you could ever do on your own. But to be part of a great team, you have to learn how to be a great teammate. Here are some things to do that will help you be a great teammate. Number one, communicate as a team. On a team, everyone has a valuable role to play. Speak up and let your voice be heard, but also take time to listen to others' thoughts and ideas. Number two, work as a team. When we're part of a team, we behave like a team. Make sure to encourage, communicate, and celebrate with your teammates. Teams work better when everyone works together. Number three, learn as a team. One of the things that makes teams great is that they are made up of all types of different people with their own skills, abilities, and ideas. Being on a team means that you can learn new skills and find creative ways to reach goals. We all want to be part of a team. It's a great way to make friends and learn new communication skills, but it's also fun to be on a team. Just remember, teamwork happens when a group of people trust each other and work together to reach a goal. When we work as a team, we're better together. Now, are you ready to be part of the lead-worthy team? Me too. Let's go. All right, so let's think about this. Who in your class is a good teammate who works well with others who learns together and let's make sure that those people and you have time this morning to vote on your november student of the month miss laura did not mean to click on that hold on just a second <laughs> work on that today so that you can get that person remember we could have a boy and a girl two boys or two girls from a room two from each classroom so go ahead and get that done this morning. Be thinking about who is a good teammate in your school, in your classroom. Sorry. All right, we have two more days as jacket store for Monday and Tuesday. Make sure to take your folders. All right, another, I'm going to come back to the positive office referrals. I promise I will not forget. Okay, um, raising your grade level score on Lexia. Second grade, you're getting closer and closer. You're at 40%. You got to get to 45. First grade, you met your goal. You can go out for a short recess on Friday morning at 830. Got to be back in. We're having a Veterans Day program on, or parade, I'm sorry, that morning. But do a quick recess on Friday morning. 
And let's talk about real quick our attendance goals for November. So if you miss two days, only two days, you get these keychain poppets. If you miss one day, you get these eraser with the pencils, but they smell too. So, and you know, if you're a perfect attendance, you mean zero days in the month of November, you get the smelly pencil with the cool eraser and the poppet. And then as a school, Ms. Bowler upped our goal a little bit. Since y'all did so good, we're going to have a 90% goal. And on December the 1st, you can wear hats. Hmm. So let's think about that real quick. That means any other time, there should not be any hats in the building. Now, unless your teacher has a hat reward in your classroom, your hat can be worn in your classroom only. There should not be hats worn any other times in the building. Remember that hats should only be worn at when your teacher tells you in the classroom. But if we meet our goal on December or for the month of November, we will all have a hat day on December 1st. Okay, let's work on being at school. If we're at school, we learn and we grow. All right, positive practices. <laughs> As we go into this week, we got a few things we need to do. We need to work as a team. So work as a team now and decide who is your student of the month for this uh, month of November so we can celebrate them next week. All right, everyone have a great day and week, and we'll be looking forward to your positive office referrals, and we have lots of things happening this week with, at the end of the week with our Veterans Parade and teachers. I will see you all together for this afternoon at Gold Day. Have a great day.